quick trip out to collect our gate, which we ordered prior to Christmas, and uh, back and get it fitted. Welcome back to France Contained. Um, as you know, we're busy setting up our homestead here and also starting the container house build project. Um, if you've seen our previous videos, we'll catch up on that. Um, so, prior to Christmas, um, we were struggling to get all our bits and pieces. Now, we've got all the materials. We'd started quite a few different jobs. So now, all the materials have come together it's time to uh, start ticking off the odd job. So today, we're going to uh, we're going to finish off the gate, the big gate for this little section here, um, and that's just to keep our dogs in when we're here, and also to keep the horse out um, for when Julie starts planting and everything. So um, we're going to get on with that. Yeah, that's today's project. And it's cold. Oh, it's freezing. It's freezing today. There's so much snow down that direction. Okay, then we'll battle on. I just wanted to do a, explain a bit about the gate. Um, we bought a, a four meter gate and the space between the posters is exactly four meters, which poses a small problem because we've also got the hinges to put on. The other gates we used on the, um, the main part of the field um, is an extendable gate, which goes between three meters and four meters. But because this is four meters, that particular gate only would expand to three meters 80. So I didn't really want to go to a four to five meters because we'd have so much weight in the gate with the extra. It's a bit of a hard explanation, but that's why we've gone for a fixed gate. And also this gate, got a grill at the bottom. Um, we we're, we're gonna have to put some of the fencing over the other gate, but this one is perfect. So our little uh, rascals of dash hounds hopefully won't get a jump up and, and through the gate. So I'm just trying to get a an even gap this side as the other side so I think that's about it so this will um, bolt into the post and I've got a similar one at the bottom uh, is an adjustable and that's to get the uh, the level of the gate correct so that will sit like that and at the other side of the gate I'm gonna put a, a clasp over this section it didn't come with one which is a pain so I'm gonna have to uh, fabricate one so uh, that's the gate, we're going to raise it a little bit and then get the, uh, the brackets bolted in.
I just popped home just to get my car um, wheel wrench impact driver because this uh, could take some time. So let's have a go. and then just tweak them up by hand. Put your back into it, Rody. Okay. Right, do the bottom on that. So adjusting here, we'll push the bottom of the gate out, which means the, um, the other end will raise up slightly. Just because these are pretty heavy gates at four meters. It's uh, a bit of trial and error. And over time, these will drop as well. So I do have plenty of adjustment left. I'm just going to test the gate. I'm just going to move the tractor out of the way, but it is just so cold with this wind. So.
swings nice. Yeah. Raising him up. Oh, that's swinging much better. Yeah, that's good. That's the gate done. Um, another small task ticked off the list, but uh, oh, it's just too cold now. So uh, we're going to go back and uh, carry on with the plans for the container home, which are going quite well, but uh, they're just so tedious. There's so many things that need to be put on there, which the program I've got just doesn't do automatically. So. It's quite a manual task. So thanks for watching. Please click subscribe below and, uh, and the, the little thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.